Today we're continuing our teaching series on the 21 days of prayer and fasting. And today we're in day 8 of 21 days. And, and this is a time to just put aside everything that distracts. Everything that turns our attention away from our relationship with God. To put aside all those things and lean into God. To focus in on, on and just press in to our relationship with Him. I don't think it's any coincidence as we've begun this season of prayer and fasting that we've seen spiritual attack after spiritual attack in our nation, in our world, and even in our church. But let me t tell you something. God is still on the throne. Amen. Let me tell you this. God is still good. And he is still ruling and reigning from heaven. Let me tell you something. His plans are still full of goodness and hope for the future. Can I get a good amen for that? And he, he has a way. God, God specializes in taking what the enemy means for evil and turning things around. Everybody say, God turned things around. He can turn things that the enemy meant for evil into good. He specializes in doing this. So as we continue on and as we, as we press in to our time of prayer and fasting, let's remember that God is good and he is still on the throne. Now, before we look to the word today, I want us to pray. How many of you know we need the Holy Spirit to illuminate our minds, to help our eyes to see the truth of God's word, and not, not only to help us understand God's word, but to help us to apply it to our everyday lives. So let's begin in prayer. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to come to you, to come to you through the power of your written word. And Holy Spirit, we pray that you would illuminate this written word to become a living word in our hearts so that we may truly understand what it says and that we may truly hear what the Spirit is saying to our church today. Help us to apply your word to our everyday lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody said? Amen. Amen. So our theme verse for this teaching series and really our, team, our theme verse for the whole year comes from the words of Jesus in John chapter 14 verse 12 it's up on the screen it says this very truly I tell you whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing and they will do even greater things everybody say even greater things, even greater things. than these because I am going to the Father now, Jesus said this because he said it was good for us that he go to the Father. Why? Because then, and only then, can he send the promise of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who dwells in the people of God. The Holy Spirit is the one who anoints us to pray. The Holy Spirit is the one who empowers God's people to advance his mission. And Jesus said, because I'm going to the Father, you, because the Holy Spirit will be in each one of you, will all corporately be able to do even greater things, even greater works than he was able to do as one man here on this earth. And so by the power of the Holy Spirit, I believe that God wants us to be focused on three main areas this year. Jot these down if you're taking notes with me. This is what uh, Eric talked about last week. He, he mentioned these three things, and I want to mention them again to you for prayer uh, as we continue into this, these 21 days. Number one is this. We want to be a church through the power of the Holy Spirit to reach more people. We want to have a greater reach. We want to be able to reach the lost, reach the lost at any cost reach the lost with passion in our hearts because there is a heaven and there is a hell and that is a reality and we want to be patient people who are concerned about the eternal well-being of the people around us and so as we pray what can we pray God give us opportunities for conversation 
God, give us opportunities. Give us divine opportunities to reach out to the people in my sphere who that I can impact with the truth of the gospel, whether it be sharing a Bible verse, whether it be inviting someone to church, whether it be praying with someone, whether it be just leading them to Christ right there on the spot. There are things that we can do as empowered by the Holy Spirit, believers in Jesus Christ, to help lost people find the truth. Not only a greater reach, but let's pray for a greater growth. Amen. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we want to continue growing our church. We want to continue expanding our dream team. How many of you know that there is always room on the dream team? There's lots of serving opportunities. There's lots of ways to participate in the mission of God here and through this local church. Not only greater reach, greater growth, but also greater generosity. We want to be people who live generous lives through, our, through our being intentional about giving of our time, of our talents, of our resources. And through all of those things, we want to reach a greater generosity as a local church. So I want to invite you to pray specifically about those three things as the Holy Spirit invites us in to greater things this year and I want you to pray about these things and pray specifically how God may want to use you God I know you've got greater things for my church God I've got I know you've got greater things for me for my family God would you show me ways that you want to use me to make an impact and to do the greater works that you've called us to do as your people.